Now we have a doggy that's got like little stripes all over him. So we're going to come back to the image itself. Zoom in a bit. You can also zoom in with the t zoom tool. And I'm going to use um, first the healing brush, but it's going to we'll see how well it does. If you click on a healing brush, it grabs pixels around it to try to figure out what to do. And I don't like doing straight lines because then you see straight lines. So I kind of like go over it back and forth in little bunches because it makes it so that the pixels it grabs aren't like, doesn't look like a row. And I'm going to do this with this first just to reduce these sharp, bright lines. And then we're going to do one more thing. So what I've done is I'm right now this kind of changes the color. Not so great for the texture and not perfect on the color, but it's getting it lighter. All right. So we still have blinds on this doggy, just not quite as rough. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to take a patch of fur that looks like more like fur right in here for the texture, and I'm going to go to the clone stamp, make it a little bit bigger, and use option on the Mac, probably control on a PC, not sure. And then come in here and paint and lift up and paint and lift up and paint and lift up and paint. Oops, too dark, too dark. Uh, control Z undoes it. All right, so I need a lighter spot. Let's try in here. When you lift up as you go, um, it helps on the, I'm also gonna change my opacity to about 40. So I can do it in bits, like darken it in layers so it doesn't seem weird, okay? The picking up moves you from the location. Sometimes you can actually see where your paintbrush is coming from. Catch up now. All right, here we go. See the, we don't need a line there. All right, let's zoom out and see how weird that looks. It's quite weird. <laughs> okay. Um, zoom beep. Precious little fur. You know what? I did this before and it looked great. <laughs> now, of course, it's not looking great. Alright. That's better. And the idea is you don't want an obvious... You want it kind of blend and look like it's supposed to look. Alright, that's looking better. Less likely to look like lines. Some bean lines. Here, we'll do this again. We're going to start and hit control and try getting rid of the sunbeam lines this way. And maybe click over here. And make it so there's no more. Now we got to fix the little nosy. Let me drag this back so I can see it. All right, we've got a little bit of sunbeam there. here so it's not that noticeable and we're missing part of his snout if you turn it on you'll see so let's come back to the mask up here and paint with white to add black to subtract we'll add back in his little snout and if you turn this off you see I added a little too much there so I'll take some black Come down and zoom it out a little better. All right, cutie pie. Now I'll go to the actual picture itself and let's work on these eyes. Eyes are the windows to the soul and it's good to make them work well. So I'm gonna zoom in on the eyes and I'm going to look at lightening the shadows with my lightning tool. And I'm going hmm, softly. So here we're gonna kind of lighten it up. Think of the whites of the eyes that we're lightening up. In this case, it'd be the browns of his eyes. Make it a little smaller. Um, doesn't hurt to really go over the highlights because the highlights are what we really want to see in an eye, and he's got some good highlights here. All right. Now, I think this got a little too light, which is easily fixed. You can go in here to burn and darken around the pupil again trying to avoid the, like, working around the highlights. All right, 
So that looks a lot better. What a cutie pie. All right. Um, he is missing some feet and part of his tail. So I don't think I might want to. Let's go down and fix the tail real quick. We're going to chain. We're going to do the healing brush and just do over the texture to see if we can get the texture of a tail here instead of the texture of the toy. Bigger brush. And it's a little less looking like a toy is over there. Okay. Um, click back on the mask. Click on white. Paint back in the oops, other way around. Click on. No, let's just have done that. White. I was on black. That's why. Okay, I'm confused. Oh, I'm. I'm pardon me. I'm still in the healing brush. This is where you get silly. Get back to the regular brush, and on white, and do that. There we go. It. Most of the time that there's a problem, it's because you forget what layer you're on. Let me check it here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, actually, right there. Look, right there. Maybe that's okay. It just looks square to me. Let's paint it in a little bit. Yeah, that's better. All right. Now there we have a cutie pie dog. A little fluff here has to do with the masking that real quick. So now we're going black to take away on the mask with the brush. Zoop. There we go. All right, now we got a puppy. A couple of things to do to make it laser ready. First off, you don't really like this being really dark. It, it is what it is, but we can make it a little lighter. Broaden the tool and lower the exposure up here. Kind of paint it get off the mask and get onto the doggy and paint it. Now you'll know if up here if you're going too hard, hard it'll like ugh. so you can change the, go back with the exposure. It's also a mask so that means it's something that you can change here. You're painting onto this and then painting off of this and that's helping to lighten it is what we're doing. Well, no, actually, I'm not on the mask. I'm on this. But what the mask part you can undo. This part you, you can't, but you have this underneath as backup. Okay, so this looks better. If we turn this off and turn this on before, and you see all the um, lines on the from the blinds after. So we see how we fixed our dog and lightened it up a little bit. Better, brighter eyes. It looks more like doggy eyes. All right, so now we'll turn this off and we're going to decide, first of all, when you have a white thing, it's the color of the wood. And if you're making something color of the wood on wood, then contrast is good. So I'm going to add, boy, I hope I'm not running over time. Um, I'm going to add a little round circle. Well, first I'm gonna make it bigger because every time I add the circle, I make it, I cut it off. So I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna, yeah go to my crop tool and give myself some space around the pup so that when I make this um, when I go and make it a circle okay let's do this that would be a little too much Duh. that there's gonna be plenty of room around it okay here we go click so there's my puppy and I'm gonna take a round circle well, let's say oval, bring it around him, and you get select, transform selection to make it exactly where you, where you want it. And it's, if you hold down the shift key, you can kind of tweak it a bit, change out the shape. All right, now that I have a selection on a blank um, layer, I'm going to go select, select and mask, and we're going to pull the feather way over. See what it does as I pull it, the edges get softer and softer. You see that? And this is again to taste. So edit, fill, and instead of white, I'm going to make it 50% gray. So the darks will have a contrast and the white will have a contrast. And if I think it's too dark, I can make it lighter. If it's too light, I can make it darker. Okay, so this is a problem. See how they're cut off there? So another way to go select deselect is to go above it and let's pull out a different kind of a mass let's do a circle 
that puts just above the paw, maybe, maybe even lower. Transform selection. So let's go in a little bit there. And because of that, I'm going to take this gray. Well, no, not with it selected. I'm not. Um, I'll do that in a minute. Okay, so go back up here. I'm going to select the opposite or the inverse. Go to select, select and mask. Take the feather, drag it. See how it's blurring the edges? There we go. Okie doke. So now I'm on a layer above with a selection and inverted. And this time I'm going to say edit fill with white. And what is that going to do? Watch. Ta-da! So there's sort of a dog's feet there, and maybe, maybe not. Now I'm going to say select, deselect, and this gray thing kind of went away there. So I'm just going to pull the gray up a little bit so it kind of fits inside better. Now we have sort of a portrait of a puppy. Now I'm going to take all of the things that are turned on, binkity, binkity, bink, and then I'm going to either click on this, which means group, I always do Command-G, and I made a group. I'm going to take that group and make a copy of it and turn it off. Now I'm going to take this right here and merge it. And I'm going to come back in a minute and show you what we do, because I'm afraid this video is not going to work if I keep going.